morning, my beautiful subbies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just thought I'd come do a little video with you guys. Um, it's early in the morning here in Canada. Um, I'm just making a little bit of craft fair stuff. And I thought I'd come in and say, hello. Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm making these right now. They're envelope. Envelope. Um, mind my face. Ugh. When you get older, you think you can, uh, you don't get any more of these. But they lied. The one thing you shouldn't get is pimples when you get older, right? So anyways, I'm making these. This was a long envelope. So I just cut it in half. And then I took these coloring books that you get. And I cut that in half. And then I made it to fit inside here. You know, and I glued it down. And I glued it down. So, and then I'm making... So I took a bunch of them. I think there's um, 10 sheets in each. So I cut those in half. So fold them. And then I'm going to like make punch holes here. And then I'm going to string it. And so the envelope. Oh, this lighting. I'm so sorry. And then the envelope. I'll put some used crayons in here. Like crayons that my kids collected. Or like I have... I'll show you a bucket full I gotta get rid of <laughs> so I thought you know and I could sell it for a dollar right and if they don't go I'll give them away so I thought I'd come in and say hello while I'm doing this so when I punch a hole into the books I use an old book <laughs> and I don't have an awl you know those things that punch so I had my dad make me one this is an old screwdriver of his, and he works in the garage. Like, he's always been a handyman, and he does stuff in the garage. He works in the garage, and and he has a sander, a welder, all that stuff, what handymen do. <laughs> so he made me one, because I asked him for one. But he's getting up there in age, so not quite as you know, as uh, he can't move around as much as he wants to. Sorry about my, please, sorry about my face. I didn't even wash my face yet. But I thought I'd come say hello just to let you guys know I'm okay. Um, So I'm just going to continue with this and I'll chit-chat with you guys. So mind my forehead and my hair. Look at all these grays. I'm debating, should I dye my hair or just let the grays come out? My dad has a full set of white, I mean, snow white hair. He used to dye it for many, many years. and and um, But he quit dyeing it now. It's just like white, pure white. And I'm kind of thinking, what if that... I wouldn't look too bad in white hair. I'd be... What's her name? Dory? Dory? Daenerys on um, Game of Thrones. Older Daenerys. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I'll continue doing this and I'll chit chat with you. So, the past few weeks have been really crazy busy. As you guys can have saw, I had um, my uncle's funeral. After uncle's funeral, then I had to go help my mom and dad out. Dad got into the hospital and... So I ended up going with them and stayed in PA for a couple of weeks. That was a really good visit. Really enjoyed it. Means my sister got to spend a, quite a bit of time together. And then came home, cleaned up. Uh, my twelve, my six, soon to be seventeen, which is tomorrow. Not the greatest that cleaning, but he's a boy, so I'll forgive him for that. <laughs> Sorry to all the boys out there. Um, so, after that, I got home, cleaned up, do all, did all that stuff. Um, so I'm just poking. I'm tape. I'm leaving it here so it doesn't, um, I'm, 
I really wish I could come up with my words smoothly in my head, as you know, in my head, and they come out smoothly. <laughs> I'm pinning it together with these are um, got these at Dollar Tree. They're just, I think they were little um clips for wire. So but they're perfect to hold your paper together. So that's what I use. So anyway, so got back, did my cleaning and all that, hung out with some friends. Um, I don't really do much. I don't leave my house very often because I suffer depression, anxiety, and paranoia. Um, yes, I've been clinically diagnosed <laughs> uh, as a kid I used to wonder why I was so like that like just different I always wondered why I was so different from other kids why I could never just be happy and smiling you know and kids would be getting gifts and I would be just depressed so much has happened and when I was younger like so now I'm just pushing. So much happened when I was younger that I, I don't think I ever was able to, to smile, like the genuine child smile, the innocence. I don't think I was able to, to do that because I, I always knew, to me, I always felt the other shoe was gonna drop. And I was always prepared for it. I always wanted to be on guard for it. Not that it would happen, just just the way my paranoia is. And like to go to the store for me, I have to literally build myself up to it. I have to literally tell myself it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Not a lot of people will be there. You know, your son will be with you. Your daughter will be with you. You know, I have to just keep telling myself it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Nobody's gonna talk about you, nothing's gonna happen. I have to keep building myself up to say, to to be okay, to go to the store to get milk, bread. And um, I was never able to be just, to just go anywhere. Many times I would make appointments just to cancel them. <laughs> then I'd feel bad I canceled them. Then I think people are talking about because I cancel everything. <laughs> it's just a vicious, vicious cycle for me. But I am trying really hard to get out of the house more often. Even tiny walks. If I go like, uh, we have the ice now. I, I will take a, I'll try and get a video up today of, uh, of our ice, our lake. It's frozen over, so it's just clear ice. And I'll try and get, I'll do a little video on it. So... Like, I try now to build myself up to go for little walks. To do stuff like that. Like, to not be stuck in here. I'm on medication, really bad medication. Bad. Like, good medication. It's fine. They finally discovered what was wrong with me. So, they were able to properly give me my medications. Before I was really, the doctor was like, this is not what I would have prescribed for you this is what you need so I've been on it now for about six months and I, I I can kind of feel that it's kind of like in my head the way it was explained to me is that there's a connection everybody has a connection in their brain and it's connected for the your feelings like the happy the joy the sad everything and it's connected it flows through and you can you can um, put your feelings you can organize them and you know what they are right and it's just a feeling 